First it was Matt Cardle, then it was One Direction, and now it's Lucy Spragan. Yet James Arthur is at war with another fellow X Factor contestant. This time it's Lucy who's hit out at James by posting texts supposedly sent from him on her Twitter. By the looks of it, their row kicked off after James used the word queer in a freestyle rap earlier this week. This is how their text row played out. And trust us, it's not pretty. Uh, Lucy, what are you playing at having digs at me? Is it because you're a gay rights activist that you had to say something as extreme as people kill themselves every day over words like queer? Are you for real? You not think you're being a bit over the top? Do you want some attention or something? Sorry I didn't tweet your album link, I've been busy. But you didn't need to be so two-faced. My album sold ten times yours in the first week, so you can f*** off with your career sh Stop reading the press, mate. Real people don't care. Real people are people you Ten times in the first week? Huh. Good. I'm glad. Enjoy. Two-faced, fickle attention seeker. Disappear. I think you'll do that far before I do. All right, guys, pipe down. Lucy's the latest celeb James has locked horns with. Yeah, there's been quite a few. He's still not been forgiven by Directioners after he slated boy bands and Louis Tomlinson on Twitter. And when we asked him about that rant, this is what he had to say. Um, Louis Tomlinson supported me when I was on The X Factor. I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of respect for that. But um, I said I, I'm... I'm I had an opinion this year and it was taken the wrong way and uh, we, we had words and you know, now we're not friends. So. But it wasn't just the world's beloved 1D who were offended by James's anti-boy band tweets. Union J, who competed in the X Factor alongside James, also fell out with him. It all got a bit blown up proportion, but like, do you know what I mean? Like we, we've been friends for a long time, so little argument isn't yeah. going to cause any major problems. He's a good lad. He's a good lad and he's just released a wicked album, so that's what he should be concentrating on, you know? And until his next Twitter war, we're done.